After a six-month total quality management project with a Japanese expert assigned by the APO, AutoKeen of Malaysia reorganized workspaces, identified quality issues, visualized best practices, and redesigned processes and equipment for greater efficiency. Most of the things are waste. Access in material, access in manpower, access in machines. So the moment we were introduced to TKM, we start to work how to do the planning proper. And now we have a group of people specialized in doing the planning. TKM has helped us a lot, like the progress of the sales, the progress of the quality and so on, to eliminate the quality issues. We had a new customer come to our place to look into our hinge assembly process. They feel that it's good, but it's not yet good enough for them. We go back to the TKM, looking to improve the process. We come up with the idea of designing a jig. With that, we can reduce the cycle time. Customer come back here and do the audit. They start giving a new order to us. The AutoKeen TQM project empowered the whole team. innovate constantly. Uh, you have to be productive uh, constantly. So I'm involved with the Thailand Productivity Organization. The unresolved issues was about the byproduct of refinery. If we don't turn it into something valuable, we all have to throw it away. Because of Cornell help, they tell me specifically what uh, this particular byproduct can be turned into. In any cooking oil, there's wax inside. Now we produce rice bran wax. Cornell said that if I bleach this wax, it can be turned into a chemical-free candle. It can be turned into a fruit polishing material. They use this food-grade rice bran wax to spray on the apple so that the apple is shiny and has a longer shelf life. Because of my experience in uh, Ithaca, New York, and their experience in Singbuli, Thailand, we had establish a liaison and it becomes a, a constant exchange. The way I build capacity is through uh, working with uh, private sector, with uh, universities. It's a 360 degree learning experience. You learn from your peers as well as you learn from your facilitator or you learn from your uh, company visits. The world generates more than 2 billion tons of trash. That's enough to fill over 800,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. As to Tuas South Incineration Plant, the largest waste incineration facility in Singapore to date. Kan Kok Wa is the general manager of the plant, one of four such facilities in the country which can convert waste into energy. Waste are collected from the industrial, commercial premises and household premises. An average of about 600 trucks are coming to Tua South Incineration Plant. They will discharge the waste into the bunker. Cranes will then grab and feed the waste into the incinerator. The temperature in the furnace is about 850 to 1000 degrees. It will achieve a 90% reduction in terms of volume. This will then help to conserve the space required for landfill. 
the ash. Ash will then be transported from the ash pit to another facility. Pollutants produced during incineration are treated before being released into the atmosphere, ensuring clean air is being discharged. Water will be converted into steam from the energy recovered from the combustion of waste. This water will be then converted into high temperature, high pressure steam to run turbine generators. This is to produce electricity power. 20% is being consumed internally with the rest being exported to the national grid. 